Hey everybody, instead of writing a long email of thanks, gratitude, and basic updates, I thought I'd just put a quick video together here on Friday, September 30 already. I don't know where September went. But I want to thank everyone thus far who has offered their services of support and support to those faculty who have been impacted by Hurricane Ian and may continue to be impacted as it makes its way up through the Carolinas. Uh, if you're in those areas, don't worry. We have your back. We have probably well over 60, 60 CJ instructors who have said, yes, I'll step up to the plate if needed. That has been forwarded to the teams that are working on this if an instructor needs help. So no panicking. And I just am always uh, amazed. No, I'm not even amazed, not even surprised because the faculty that I, all of you that I work for and with are just absolutely uh, amazing. You know, you lead with the heart. You're amazing. And I really want to thank you for that. So, um, we don't need any more volunteers right now. I think the list right now is pretty robust. I think it's in the vicinity of 50, 60 faculty that are at the ready. So thank you again for that, and I'll keep you posted on anything that comes up. Um, ADF 911, if you're not familiar with that, uh, just it's a triangulation effort to help you, the instructor, help an student. In other words, if you have a student that's having issues, there could be problems, hostile or toxic behavior, whatever. Don't hesitate to include me on your inquiries, messaging, and, and, and uh, request for support from the student's advisor. If need be, and if you give me the green light, I will step in and take it off your plate, and I will mediate, moderate, or do whatever I can to help the student, but also help you as well. Okay, and that's worked out really, really well. All right, you don't have a lot of time in your hands, and I'm here to have your back and support you in those areas. Some things you just cannot solve, so please uh, don't hesitate to reach out to me. If you give me the green light, and only if you give me the green light, I will intervene, and I'm happy to get on the phone with the student. My five minutes with the student can save everyone five days of agony, right? The Social Sciences Journal, which naturally incorporates the Criminal Justice Department and all associated announcements and information will be deployed next week. It is a SharePoint site. I really think you're going to enjoy this. I want to thank everyone who's contributed um, their announcements and articles and accomplishments and achievements and human interest stories, et cetera, to the journal thus far for all the social sciences disciplines and more to follow. And naturally, a special thanks goes out to our academic partners who are, they are really largely responsible for the development of this. They own it, and we're going to let their light shine. They do uh, just have done a fantastic job with this journal. So uh, stay tuned for that. And if you have anything you want to contribute, now that you'll know what it looks like, bring it on. We'd love to let your light shine. I mean, so many people out there, on this, all of you are doing such remarkable things. You know, why should those things just, you know, kind of perish in darkness? So um, if you had a chance, stop by uh, 8 o'clock, 2,000 hours Eastern Standard Time. Each and every Wednesday, we have a three tips in 15 minutes. Uh, instructors that have come to that, thank you for showing up and stopping by and taking taking some valuable time out of your evening to share and learn from some great guest speakers. They've really been phenomenal as of late. Dr. Lamontosh has done a great job taking the baton for myself and Barbara Lesniak on that. So three tips, look for those announcements and stop by. You know, they're really, really good. I mean, I mean that. Um, mentors who are on and volunteered their time, name, and associate, where they're associated, what discipline they're, specific discipline you're associated in, thank you for that. That's on the CJ Career Council SharePoint page. And it's worked out quite well. If you're on there and you're overwhelmed, let me know. Okay? Thank you for that. And I also want to thank you for distributing uh, and embedding these into your courses. The women who are successful professionals in the criminal justice system. And I want to thank all of those professionals who have volunteered their time to tell their story, share with the students how they got where they are, modeling, you know, that those steps and talking about obstacles and impediments and how they overcame them. And they were just absolute, you know, models of grit and perseverance, et cetera. And each one of those has received well over 100 views a piece. So are they effective? Are they popular? And is there a need? Mm -hmm. So thank you to those who have volunteered their time to tell the story. And thank you all for putting those into your courses. Uh, they really have helped out quite a bit. As you know, we do have a social sciences podcast. I want to thank the instructors who I have had an opportunity to interview for whatever subject, any specializations, et cetera, they've been involved in. It's Agents of Change, SNHU. If you type that into either podcast, uh, Podbean or Spotify, et cetera, you will find them. They're really, really good. Very well done. 
uh, very professional, and uh, they come from us, you know, everyone here on the social sciences team. So as opposed to writing a long and lengthy email of thanks, gratitude, and basic updates, uh, just please be safe. You know, I have your back. We're on your side with no stress. Try to take it easy. Have a good weekend. And let me know if you need anything, 603-858-3817, seven days a week, anytime you call me. Okay, and I'm here to help. So have a great day, great night, and a safe weekend.